All right, how we doing there? Man, this is a very bizarre story here. And I'm trying to decipher what happened. I saw a couple of uh, videos from Willie D and from JD Black. I saw this, this article yesterday and I just have to do further research search. I thought I'd make a video today, because, but I wanted to look at a couple of those local news articles about what happened. And this is just the most, uh, probably a bizarre event. Excuse me here, I'm just trying to get this camera right. Just the way this woman died, okay? I mean, I know that disagreements happen and all that, okay? Uh, sometimes there's actually like standoffs or altercations or whatever physical. But just the end result, all right, is just puzzles me, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. I mean, I'm flummoxed by it. So her name is uh, Catherine Kahn, all right? And this incident happened out there in the Buckhead sec section of Atlanta. It's basically like North, uh, North Atlanta up on that 285 up there, all right? Really nice neighborhood, lavish houses. I think the Cascade is up in that area, all right? Uh, with those, uh, that's a no well-known community for like really nice houses and all that stuff. You know, very successful people live in that exclusive area, okay? But uh, she was a bartender and she was injected out of the Lamb uh, Lamborghini, okay? Uh, nearby, all right, uh, Buckhead. <clears throat> Excuse me, I didn't get the intersections of where this happened at. But prior to the incident, uh, that this young lady, a guy, and they, I guess she had a friend that she was with that were arguing over money, and she was intoxicated and all this other stuff, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and I guess the intox the uh, the argument got a little bit heated, all right. And uh, the the friend didn't really didn't want to have any uh, parts of it, all right. But I think she was just you know like a maybe a bystander or a mediator just in case anything had popped off, quote unquote, okay. And they left. All right, they were heard arguing. There was no like physical, uh, you know, actions going on at that club. Now the theory has it is after they left. Okay, I don't know how many people was in that car. All right, but there was a uh, there was a fight. Okay, that broke out. This is what the news out there are saying. Okay, that a fight that broke out in that that they were fighting in that car. And it was a witness, or eyewitness said that she was pushed out of the car and told uh, the authorities, okay, and, and on a tip on a phone call, all right? So I was thinking to myself until I saw the news article, maybe was she strangled first, okay, or, but there was no signs of any strangulation or you know, her getting shot or stabbed or anything, all right? I guess these things happen. Maybe I'm just thinking that she got pushed out of the car, okay, in a moving car, and your probably your chances of, of, of surviving is probably 50-50. But maybe she got pushed out, and maybe bumped her head on on the concrete or whatever, and probably died from the, you know, from the wounds or whatever. That's what, maybe what I'm thinking that happened. <clears throat> but for the most part, is. Okay, so it's not cool, all right, to put your hands on anybody, pushing, you know, mistreating somebody, that type of uh, thing. Because in, in the end of the day, this woman is dead, okay, based on the altercation of maybe about money. But there's other ways, I think, number one, to handle that, all right, and, and I'm not trying to take sides on that, in, uh, uh, on uh, based on the events of this incident. You do have to look at one thing. We've had, I, uh, well, I've saw articles a lot about these domestic violence incidents, gender wars, and I believe that domestic violence has increased tremendously after what went on over the last 18 months. But you have to look, um, this month, October, is 
Domestic Violence Awareness Month, okay? And actually, the months of March, April, and then uh, let's say here late September, October, are very high domestic violence uh, months because let's say in the springtime, all right, and I, hey, unfortunately, these things happen <clears throat> that people want to get out more, maybe go see their friends and... Uh, you know what happens after that, okay? I mean, you got uh, women and guys want to go to the club and, you know, go do all these uh, extracurricular activities outside of their relationships. Maybe some maybe figure that they want to break up with their significant other. And then during the fall time, many couples want to get back with their significant other, you know, after they played around or whatever. And this is pertaining to the ones that do this stuff, okay? This is not everybody, okay? Because, you know, hey, it's nothing wrong with traveling and going to have fun with your friends and all that stuff. But, you know, um, this won't be the only incident like that. But I'm, uh, this is a domestic violence angle to this. Okay. So probably somewhere on the line, along the line that this woman had a relationship with with the assailant. Okay. Or the uh, the person that committed that offense uh, the driver was not identified yet and uh i guess you know the cops are investigating this this incident uh, here but man i just say be careful out there all right um arguing with people that's been intoxicated because you don't know what's on their mind or what they could be uh capable of doing okay um it may be just best to, if you're upset with somebody or your significant other, I've seen it happen too many times here in Las Vegas, all right? I talked to a guy that uh, was going through that when I had a, when he had a ride with me, and I told him what to do, but he didn't listen to me, okay? That my suggestion is maybe just get a lift or, you know, uh, get a designated driver to take you home, uh, set apart from your significant